Hello, dear 7th graders, and welcome to your new English lesson. The topic of today's lesson is what's in the news. My name is Diana Bundara, your English teacher today. After today's lesson, you will be able to recognize fake news. And you will be able to create a poster containing tips how to spot fake news. Let's set you up for today's lesson. So, get hold of your pen or a pencil, prepare your notebook, your mobile phone, and a QR code reader. Let's start. Let's think for a second. Why is it important to read, listen, watch the news and stay informed? What do you think? Well, you are informed about things, events happening around you. It can be educational. You can learn new things, including foreign languages, for example. When you know what's going on, you can be a part of any conversation, maybe even impress a boy or a girl. Reading news can be entertaining. You can find out about some new things to do, interesting people. So it can be an inspiration for you. But is everything in the news true? What do you think? So how do you or your parents read the news? Do you or they listen to the radio, watch TV, read newspapers or surf the internet on your computer? Is everything in the news true? Let's take a look at these three headlines. Are they all real? Bigfoot seen driving school bus? Hmm, what do you think about this one? Scientists reveal amazing Pompeii snack bar? Fake news or not? Protecting animals during Diwali? Can we believe everything we read in the newspapers or hear on the news? What do you think? So do you have any idea how to spot fake news? Well, a reliable news story should say where all the facts came from. So it's always important to check the facts, to look beyond the story. Sometimes stories can be one-sided. So we talk about biased news. Pristrane viesti. Before we go any further with the lesson, let's play with these words first. Your task here is to find the matching synonyms, words of similar meaning. So you have to match the blue and the yellow words. Before you copy the blue words into your notebooks, I'll give you a few hints. So you just listen and think. Bias. Well, I just explained it, so I may as well repeat it. In Croatian, pristra. But I'm not going to use Croatian anymore. The next one is reliable. A reliable person or a friend is a wonderful thing in every person's life. You can trust that person. Stuck. If I say, write down two ideas that stuck with you after today's lesson, does it ring any bell? Ad. Advertisement. Newspapers contain a lot of ads or advertisements about a wide variety of products in order to promote them, to make them visible. So these products aren't, let me use a metaphor here, muted, silent. Then we have verify. Here comes an example. They will need to verify who you are. Source. The source of her personality is fire. If something is suspicious, it usually means you question it. Now, please pause the video lesson, copy the blue words into your notebooks and match them with the corresponding synonyms. So, match the blue 
with the yellow words. Okay, let's check. Bias, intolerance, unfairness. Ad advertisement, promotion. Suspicious, questionable. Verify, check. Reliable, honest, true. Stuck, fixed. And source, origin. Well done, good job. So more word games for you. But these are antonyms, words of opposite meaning of the words we talked about just a second ago. So sharpen your thinking skills and remember, take it easy and enjoy the game. So scan the QR code or type the bit.ly address into your browser. The bit.ly address is bit.ly slash number seven suprotno znacenje. Enjoy it! Here we go! So, suspicious, questionable, the antonym is questionless certain. Ad advertisement, promotion, the opposite would be silence. Verify, check, guess. Unstuck, free. Stuck, fixed. Fairness, bias, intolerance, unfairness. Copy, duplicate, source, origin. Unreliable, dishonest, fishy. Reliable, honest and true. This was fun, right? By this point, we all agree that some news can be fake. So it's time to make expert fact checkers out of you. Your task is to go through these tips and write them down. Remember, you don't have to understand each and every word. You have to understand the point. So please scan the QR code and type the bit.ly address into your browser and write down tips how to spot fake news or how to be an expert fact checker. And we're back. Let's compare. So search the exact headline. Google it. Always check if it's a news story. Or did it happen a long time ago? So check the date. If a story sounds suspicious, check it out. Double check the experts. If the article is one-sided, that's a sign of potentially biased reporting. Go straight to the source. A reliable news story should say where all the facts came from. If you think something's wrong about a story, use other sources. Look it up on another search engine and look for unusual URLs. If they end with, let's say, com.co, like this one, there might be something fishy about it. Well, time to check if you know how to spot fake news. So please scan the QR code or type the bit.ly address into your browser and enjoy the game. The bit.ly address is bit.ly slash fake news. So here's a task for you. Do the research on these two newspaper headlines and find out which one is real and which one is fake. So pause the lesson and hit your search engines with these two titles. The tips on checking the facts are right here. So the first title is Protecting Animals During Diwali and the other one is Dogs Enjoy Christmas Firecrackers. You can also use the URLs right here, www.robinh.com or the other one. And which one is fake? That's right. Dogs enjoy Christmas firecrackers is fake. Good job. And the last stage of today's lesson, your homework. Create a poster. 
The title is Tips to Identify Fake News. Write minimum five tips. Use short and clear sentences. Add three to four images. Add one fake and one real news URL address, just to set an example. Use IT tools. You can use these IT tools that I'm suggesting here, or you can use any other that you feel comfortable with. Enjoy your work. This rubric is here to help you create the perfect poster. So make sure your poster includes everything mentioned under the homework requirements. Make sure it is well organized. It contains photos that support the title. It should be neat and attractive. And there shouldn't be any spelling or grammar errors. Good luck with your work. Let's reflect on today's lesson. Grab your notebooks and your pencils. Tweet about today's lesson to your family and friends. Finish these three sentences. Today I have learned the tricky part was I will use this Thank you all for watching and taking part in this lesson. I truly hope you have learned something new and had fun. Until the next time, I wish you a great day and bye-bye.